Hi, welcome to week 8 of Generative AI for IT Professionals and in this week let's explore the file upload and analysis capabilities of ChatGPT. So uh, what we will be doing in this week is we'll pick up a data set so we have a earthquake data and we will upload that into ChatGPT and we will try asking some questions to ChatGPT to summarize the data, get some basic insights, do some visualizations etc. So let's jump in. All right, so get, to get started, uh, we have a data set which talks about all the earthquakes happened around the world. And you can see this is the file. It's basically uh, a CSV file. Uh, so you can see there is the date and time of each earthquake. And then we have the latitude and longitude, the location of the earthquake. And then we have a column called depth, how deep the earthquake happened from Earth's surface. And this is the magnitude uh, of the earthquake. And then some other values are also there. So let's go to ChatGPT and upload this file. Let me quickly upload this file. And let me ask it, hey, can you summarize the, the columns in this data set? Data set. So I'm asking ChatGPT to first uh, show me all the columns, right? And this is a sample and now it is analyzing as you can see. So this is basically the sample and here it analyzes. And now it says, okay, these are the columns from the data set. Very interesting, right? And now what you can do is you can actually ask it, okay, okay, so do we have any columns with missing values? Okay give me the details so these are all the columns we have from the csv now it is looking for missing values right so it says okay so these are the columns where you have lot of null or missing values that's interesting right and now we can pick up some of these columns we can get the basic statistics of all the columns but maybe i'm not interested in all the columns i can say hey can you give me uh statistics about the following columns so one is depth one is magnitude uh let's keep only these two okay let's look at depth and magnitude because for earthquake right so it tells you that okay for depth this is the count of values and then this is the mean value for depth and there's a standard deviation minimum value then maximum value so on and so forth right and it gives you the same for you know magnitude as well and we can infer some pretty interesting facts from here for example if you look at depth uh, you can see that the minimum is zero obviously and then maximum is 720 so that is the uh, range of depth and if you look at the magnitude minimum is 6 and maximum is 9.6 so now we have a pretty good idea like what is the range of depth and a range of uh, magnitude we have on this data you can even see other statistics like standard deviation mean count and all and you can pick up any column from the data set and do it even you can get a complete summary of all the columns and you can even pick one column right here and then ask specific questions about that column right so i just selected depth and uh, then i can ask like okay how many values are there or whatever you want to know from this right now this is the basic way to get started uh, uh, by looking at the columns and understanding the basic stats now let's go one step further all right so now let's do some basic visualization right so chat gpt is pretty good at visualization and it can generate and display data insights now let's ask something like this i'm gonna say okay show a histogram of earthquake magnitudes and let's see what it comes up with right so this is supposed to give you what you call a histogram or a frequency distribution and there you go see so from this we understand that you know most of the earthquakes are between you know six and eight in magnitude right uh, so if you look at here 
I mean most of them are from 6 to 6.1 I should say this is the highest one or if you go here you know you can say 6 to 7 that's where most of the earthquakes happen and then there are you know uh, other earthquakes as well so we get an idea about uh, the pattern over these uh, magnitude and then let's also ask show earthquake frequency over time as a line chart you don't have to say as a line chart it'll pretty much pick it up as a line chart because it is uh, frequency over time so it is supposed to give you a line chart but i just said okay show it as a line chart let's see what happens so it takes a bit of time for this uh, visualization and then it should give you all right so there you go so if you look at here let me scroll down you can see the years uh, starting from 1900 till uh, 2012 i believe we have the data and so that is the year on the x-axis and number of earthquakes on the y-axis now very interestingly there are some spikes maybe somewhere around 1922 1962 and in 2010 somewhere around that uh, so this might be uh, potentially due to some seismic activity surges so but basically you get an idea so this is how you can do basic visualizations uh, with chat gpt let's also try to identify some patterns and outliers from this data uh, data set so let's ask uh, chat gpt okay find the top five top five earthquakes with the highest magnitude so i just want to see which are the top five earthquakes with the highest magnitude it analyzes and it gives you this so these are the top five and i can even go one step further i believe i can probably ask it can you show the result as a geo map so i just want to see it as a map let's see what it says and <laughs> this will be interesting so it's gonna i mean i just want to see the spots right so these are like top five earthquake spots so give it to me as a map let's see what it says okay it says there was an issue with rendering the world map using geopandas i'll try an alternative approach okay and then it says i have generated uh, okay give me the map to download let's say let's say it gives you a file to download see if it works uh, so you can see here download the map it should give you the map save and if i open this great look at that right <laughs> so now these are the locations pretty cool huh so these are the locations you can zoom in zoom out i'm not i'm not gonna play a lot with maps at this point i just thought i will show you that chat gpt has the capability to do this but that's not probably what we are going to do so so very interesting right you can even ask for a geo map that's pretty neat huh and let's do one more thing so let's ask which areas have you know the most frequent earthquakes okay so i want to find the areas where you have the most frequent earthquakes right let's see what it says okay so it basically says these are the areas so these are the usual suspects if you understand a bit about geography and then you know the earthquakes then we have the specific ring of fire japan chile indonesia so these are the areas where most of the uh, earthquakes happen so it gives you this top 10 areas we can even ask let's say find uh, the deepest earthquake recorded in the data set okay so which one is that going to be let's see what it says okay so this is the deepest one so this is how you can identify patterns and outliers like the highest the lowest you can even get the output as a geo map 
Okay, now if you are somebody who knows Python and probably you want to visualize the data using Python code, you can even do this. Instead of visualizing the data within ChatGPT, you can probably ask it something like this. So I'm going to ask like, okay, generate Python code to visualize earthquake magnitude distribution. So it gives you this nice le little code, you know, which you can copy paste inside Python and visualize the data. I took the liberty of already uh, copying this code and you can see here I have a Jupyter notebook running Python code. So here I'm reading the data into a data frame or you can say consider this like a table I'm reading my original data and this is the code given by ChatGPT to visualize the data. If I go back here you can see this is a code that we have and that's basically what I have copy pasted here and let me just try to run this so i'm just going to click on run so this will read your data and then let me click on run and there is your distribution of earthquake magnitude so chat gpt can even generate python script to visualize the data if you do not want it to visualize within the platform itself so that's about a quick analysis of data sets using chat gpt so this week, we explored the power of file upload and data analysis with ChatGPT. Now, in case if you like this video, then please click on the like button, pour in your comments and share it with your friends and consider subscribing to the ITVersity YouTube channel. Check out the entire playlist of Generative AI for IT Professionals and I'll see you next week with another video. Thank you.